And Bernie's coming back down off the mountain. He went up this morning in the dark, him and Bobby. And I think they've had it. The snow got a little deep. I think he looks whipped. <laughs> Real whipped. <laughs> he been walking for two hours to get out of it. He was going to go a different way. Bobby wanted to come around. He said, I can't. I got to go back my own tracks if I can even make it. Look at that. Elder Creek. Getting ready to go across the bridge. It is there. Poor Vern. <laughs> he thought maybe he'd run into a big buck. Heavy snow, too. We're going to go back to the cabin, dry these guys out, and then we're going to hit the migration runways this evening because they're running them both ways. I seen that earlier. What do you think of this buck hunting? Huh? Way up on top, where I sat, there wasn't any fresh sign. Maybe a couple old tracks. That was it, eh? Just going up the mountain right here on the first level, there's that runway that's always there. There's a few tracks in that. Yeah. Well, right there, two deer caught up with my tracks and come down. Oh. And then I kicked one across this road right here that goes to the left uh, when I went up. Huh. I can I see the tracks now. But this road is deceive, deceiving because it, it was plowed. See the bank. Actually, the depth of the snow is above your knees and as high as my waist. Up in the woods. And I went up the up to the top of the mountain where we normally hunt. Normally takes an hour and 15 minutes or so. Took me three hours. And my legs are pretty sore right now. I'll bet you, huh? Yeah, it's not easy. There's not a lot of deer way up. But I think Uncle Bobby's seen more deer where he was because he's down on a lower level than where I went up to. Yeah. Which makes a difference, but. You didn't have to worry about falling down. I don't think you could have if you wanted to. <laughs> I did trip a few times and uh, should have fell. The snow was this deep. Let's see the end of your fall. gun barrel. Huh? Well, I scraped it all Point off. Point it to me, the end of your gun barrel. I've scraped that all off. <laughs> well, I, I scraped the whole gun off a couple times. The, the scope was everything. It's. Uh, and since I went in, it snowed at least an inch, maybe a little more. Oh, yeah. So, it's interesting. I think we got to find where the deer are traveling off the runways, stay closer to the road, because this kind of hunting going way up like we normally do, this right now is... I got the spots for you. Yeah, it's too much. You can't go up there and hunt, and there's not as Uncle many Ed's migration there. runway, they're coming in there from three different ways. Yeah. So this evening that'll be good there sitting well, there. Where I like to where I'd like to go is just past the runway that we're across this triple A to that two track to the right. That's I'll the one. I'll just go up that. That's the one I was at. <laughs> Take a look and see what's going on. But it's 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 different now, that's all. Just Yeah, I wonder if Uncle Bobby be back yet. I'm sure he is. Think He's so? Probably waiting. I don't know if it take him as long to get down as it did me. I had to take my time. Oh, yeah. A different kind of a situation. My legs sure got to work out. Don't look it reminded that. me of being in basketball again, running up and down the gym steps. You have to get that uh, snow out of the end of the barrel or it'll get that powder all wet. Well, I'll tip the gun down for starters. Yeah. I'm going Work on getting the cap off. Oh, I don't want to have. That's about all you can say for it. We got a few. We got chains on. And you can see what I had to do to turn around here. That's as far as we went this morning because you couldn't go no further in the snow. We broke a trail coming in here, me and Vern. Then we. Yeah. Right. There was. Well, like I said, this road is a little deceiving. The snow is deeper. Yeah. Really. Uh, than what's in this road. Oh, I see there's a lot of it. 
It's hanging on the trees, man, is it hanging. Look at it, hanging up there. If that dropped on you, it'd cover you. That, there's three foot of snow hanging in them glumps, just like that. It's really something. Too hard to hunt. For that kind of walking for them guys, it's too tough. Yep. We've got to go back out that way. Stick cleaning time. Huh? Yeah. Get her? I think so. Okay. Well, last words of wisdom? Well, be careful. Uh huh? Be careful. Why? Well, it's, it's a lot more like work. Huh? It's a lot more like work than anything. Yeah. Was it worth the walk up? Well, it's interesting. I don't, I don't think I'll make that mistake twice. But it was, it was interesting. You got to go up once to, in conditions like that to really see how it is. And yeah. This snow here is the one that came yesterday. It's pushing these deer too. Yeah. It's got them on the move. They're starting to move a little bit. Yeah. We'll go get Uncle Bobby. Yeah. Let's go get him. Okay. Talk to you later. Here comes Uncle Bobby. Like Bernie said, they got a leap to, to go, they can't walk. Yep. They're, they're making a little, little leap bound. Yeah. If they don't get out of there tonight, they're, they're moving. Be a rack of bones by springtime. They've been moving on that on them runways. Oh my god. Well, uh, what do you think of this musket hunting? Get yourself situated. This is the shallow snow here. <laughs> it's even down to the ground. Yeah. There's a shallow snow. It does something. Like Vern says, right up to here. Yeah, up in most the woods it would be in them cradle nose. Most of it is. You get all sweaty, eh, Bob? Oh, yeah. I never got this stuff on. Yeah. Too bad you had to carry it all. Well, I'll tell you something. I learned a trick. That's a good thing to do. From now on, that is the way I'm going. <laughs> hey, I enjoyed it. I saw quite a bit of sign. Same old spot. And when I... As soon as I come up, I didn't see a track until I got up by the uh, pasture rock spot. Yeah. And right up on top again. There they were. And I'm cutting through the ravine, and I looked down there, and I said, there's tracks. I said, I'm just happy. They went right up that skid. As soon as they got to the side of that hill, they turned and went 20 feet from our spot. Right across like that, and one veered off and went that way. Huh. And I took these tracks for about half a mile or so, and I come back, and I picked out that single. I started taking it. It was a big track. Taking it up and he took me right into all kinds of. They've been nuzzling in there all night and all morning. Yeah. So, whatever. Look, look, at, look at that. Stuff. What do you think? Look at here, John. Huh? Get this here. Shut the door, Vern. Here, the snow was there. This just fell off the car. <laughs> Hubcap. Chevrolet hubby. <laughs> Frisbee. <laughs> Wipe it off. You got a dry, I got a dry hanky if you want to wipe it off. I ain't got nothing dry right now. I here. Know. I'll show you. Look here. Wipe it off with that. Hey. I know. I see you're soaked. You let them wipe your gun off. I think what I'll do is um, I might change my long johns because they are a little wet. Yeah, you should change and be dry if you're going to set on them runways. Oh, yeah. There's deer moving on them runways. Well, there's, man, there's deer up there. Too. They're going to come tonight. These deer are going to start leaving here because there's a foot of snow. They got a foot of snow here since yesterday at this time. Yeah, we got to tell Darlene 
the difference between four inches and three feet. <laughs> the difference is two and a half, two feet and eight inches. Yeah. She was off by two feet, eight inches. Yeah. Come on up, she says there's only four inches of snow and it's just about all melted away. Vern and I went up in there and it's right up to our waist. Literally. In case, and I mean it. You'd have to see it to believe it, wouldn't you? Yeah. I got tired. You couldn't of believe it. <clears throat> I had tired of lifting my legs up. Oh yeah. Well, let's go get on the migration and kill one or two tonight and tomorrow. If That's what's going to happen. If we sure ain't going to kill any up in there. No. If you did, what would you do? I thought about that too. If, if we even tried to take our Mickey Mouse and go up there, why? I'm glad I didn't have my Mickey Mouse boots on. Where's know. my? Uh... That case is right there. I think I might have put one up front. Uh huh. And I'm glad that I didn't even try to even go up there like Bobby said on the radio. Don't even try it, John. It's 30 inches deep or better. What? You wouldn't have made it. No. Huh? You wouldn't even made it to the creek. No. No, it's no sense of going up there and getting all gamed up. No. Bend my knees and. Can we get a picture of you two guys with my. I wish I, I was hoping Vernon would cover it because I wanted to get a. He's taking pictures now. No, but I need a. Uh, I just ate my sandwich. I ate mine. I didn't eat mine yet. I just ate it here. I'll get a picture of you two guys here by the. Suburban. By the suburban. Okay. okay. This is your. Uh, our second chance. I tell you what, there's snow on everything and anything. In there. Yep. Yeah. Lots of snow. Here. Sure. A little bit. It's only horns I'm going to see. Oh. It's in the morning. Look how this looks going down through this regular tunnel. Really loaded up with trees and stuff in it. Bob and Vern's on the runways and I'm out cruising. In the morning. Peeking out through here. That's Lake Superior in the background. Way back there. What a view up here. You have to peek through the trees to see it. See the sunset coming up through there. What a, what a place up here. A lot of snow up here on top, boys. Looking way off into the distance. That's something. Really quite a place up here. Beautiful. And a tree, between the trees coming up here, but a little bit of gold was brilliant and I missed it. I wanted to get that. I couldn't quite get it. I come up a little late. Here's a fall hanging on that little beech tree. With that beautiful sun in the background. Quite a picture right there. Really beautiful. In the morning like that. Heading down to the big yellow dog. Sure it's pretty this time of year when it's running. Where are you going? Heading right on down. I'll get a picture of the yellow dog right after this a little bit. There's a tunnel and a bridge right over in there. So you can make it out. See it? There's a little bridge that goes across, there's a cabin on the other side there. But Bobby likes and Lois so well. I'm a little pup. Quite a place, beautiful. Right over the little pup. Start going down AAA. I mean, she's hanging on there. 